Hello, and welcome to another in the series of TechPlot support videos. Today we'll be talking about showing contours from surface points. We sometimes hear from customers who can't see their contours after they've loaded their data into TechPlot. Your data may not have a mesh structure. Your 2D data might not have a mesh structure. Let's say you've entered your data as a simple list of points. And let me show you a list that I have here. This data is arranged in columns with X dimension, Y dimension data, P for pressure, and T for temperature. Let's read this data file into TechPlot. I'll close this file and from the file menu of TechPlot, go to the Load Data Files menu item. Use the TechPlot data loader and click OK. Select the file you want to read. Mine is called surfacepoints.dat. Select that, open it, and I'll take the initial XY line as the default. Notice the data has been read as these series of red lines. Let me look at the scatter symbols to see the points that were actually loaded. There are eight points and you see them as the small red rectangles. If we want to look more closely at our data, let's go to the data set details. You can find this from the data menu, data set info. And you notice it tells us that one zone is ex in existence and the variables x, y, p for pressure, t for temperature. And it's an i ordered zone in TechPlot with eight in the i dimension and then one for j, one for k. In order to draw contours, we somehow need to connect the points so they define a surface mesh. TechPlot has a triangulation feature which creates a finite element data set which allows you to show contours. If I were to try to show contours right now, I could change this to from an XY line to a 2D Cartesian plot. And notice when I click on contour, nothing is shown. But we will now use the data triangulation option. Go to the data menu and you'll see the triangulate menu choice. Click that and you now see the triangulate dialog box. Select our zone 01, that's our simple ordered set, as the source zone and click compute. Notice that triangulation was successful, eight nodes and seven triangles were created. Click OK and then close. Now I'm going to show you the mesh of the triangles that were created. This shows how the triangulation process has solved the connectivity. Finally, let's turn the contours on and we see a contour now. I believe it's for temperature or pressure. The P is the initial value that's shown. We can change that to T for temperature and you see your data there. Well, thank you very much for your attention today. Please don't hesitate to contact us with any of your tech plot questions. And see you next time. Bye.